Yeah, quick word on housekeeping and like generally how to handle material is because we live in a material world or our consciousness exists on the material plane uh, fun, uh, predominantly in this age. So a lot of it is like you're like manifesting stuff, right? Like so you're getting an idea, I want to go and get some vegetables, starts as an idea, then you bring the vegetables home and then you cut them and then you make waste and then you eat them and you make dishes. So there's this like every manifestation you get comes with this obligatory kind of closing ceremony which is like the equal and opposite of it. So when you cook you clean. Uh, when you when you cut you either recycle or you throw in the bin. And it's funny it's like we live in a world where like there's obviously an imbalance every time you extract something to do like I'm gonna work on my computer um, you then have to uh, then put it away afterwards well, you know there's maintenance and there's an equal and opposite involved in everything that we do and that creates a harm a kind of harmony and that means that you're kind of in balance with nature I think in nature systems and then extrapolate that out into the global we don't recycle, we use non-recyclable materials like plastics, we we don't um, give our waste back to the planet in a uh, in like a harmonious way. We're, we're like detached from this cycle of balance. But you, it's funny, you see it in your house as well. It's like when you're arranging a house, when you're doing like, and this is where the arts of like feng shui and stuff come into play. They're like very, um, technical but very complicated but when you're in your house and you are deciding where to put the couch but then you get some new things and it's like oh, where to put that where to put that and you soon realize you've got too much stuff and it's like there's always a passage of material coming through your house right new clothes uh, new shoes different kinds of foods uh, new projects waste materials form and then it's like handling those things and you, you suddenly find all of a sudden, also like hair as well, your hair in, in the drain. Because like the water coming out of your house is like an energy flow center as well. It's like, when I use terms like energy flow, I don't mean to sound new age. I just mean like in general, it's, it's actually taking dirt off you, away from you. And it does draw things down as well, in my opinion. But you can just see it like that. It's just that this is just a, a, a linguistic framework. It's an energy, it's a place where energy flows. It takes your hair, it gets stuck there. You have to take your hair out. Like when you've cleaned your house, cleaning isn't just get it clean. It's actually like, it's actually like balancing energies in your house. It's getting up to scratch with, I first realized this when I lived in a van. Like when you live in a van, like you can't, your bathroom is your kitchen and your kitchen is your lounge and any lounge activity that you do, then to go to sleep you have to close it and if you don't, you're just living in like a, just like a, a box that's a, like a chaos box, which is impossible, you, you just realise the stress it puts on you and that, that's why like in your house you have to, you get like more grace in a house, you get like an extra day or two, but still you feel it, like you have to constantly clean, like you have to clean every day, like it's just part of life in general is to, is to do this. Now let's consider space in a more complex way, temples. We've, we've established that the way your space is um, affects how you feel. So now let's think about temples and churches and how when you enter one of these buildings, these spaces have been designed to, to elevate the way you feel, right? Like they're, they're congregational, they're built with many places for people to sit and they're built like with like in, in like, like churches and cathedrals in, in particular are built with like high, a high degree of knowledge of resonance and acoustics, which is amazing. And it's funny, the, you know, the people who built these churches and these temples, I mean, they still build temples in India. Um, and they use all of these, like, amazing geometries when they're doing it. But they are poured in concrete and stuff. But, you know, I don't have much first-hand experience of that. Um, so they are still producing them here. But in the West in particular, like, the framework for Christianity at the time where people were building churches it's, it's, it's totally different to the t to now where people are just consuming the church how they go in and they're like just 
enjoying the resonance from the organ and, and being part of the ceremony is different from being a a follower of some I mean it's, it's totally different the words are the same but the relationship to the um, to the idea is now completely alien because back then they were carving stone for their deity and they were you know they were in and especially the designers and architects of these things which were the, the masons apparently like this is this and again like masonry has changed as well it's like this is what I, I believe standing on the shoulders of giants means it's like we we consume much more than we produce which is why we have to outsource so much labor to foreign countries China in particular who produce probably much more than they consume um, it's like we now live in a consumptuous world, like almost like a vampiric kind of world where we don't produce. And this is so much so that we don't even produce. Um, I mean, this isn't like, this is just generally speaking. Obviously, some people produce, like a lot of people are like living on land, living in amazing communities, producing amazing works of art, amazing things. But it just seems to me that like this is the shift that should take place to really like bring humanity back to a place of like, um, how would you call it? Um, back to a place of uh, just abundance would be to just become producers and to like look back in through time and like see space as this thing that we should like work with in harmony. And it's funny because these words harmony, it's all to do with ratio. It's all to do with um, geometry and balance. It's 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 like a it's like a kind of um, philosophy of of um it's like creating a philosophy which combines the beauty of mathematics with the sensibilities of like spirituality and just understanding that these are the kind of like this is all this is all synch this is all sync can be synchronized and doesn't have to be kind of like made uh, polarized through language like we can first of all it's like notice in in your house how to live how to be how to live in balance that's kind of a thing you get when you're a teenager like if you're still living in squalor or you're a hoarder then you're not clearing space and you're not if you haven't graduated from that then that's you're kind of stuck there and then humanity is also kind of stuck in this thing because collectively that's the sum of the way everyone's living like western culture is just a it's just like a consumptuous throwaway culture hence there's tips and and garbage dumps where it's just full and landfill where it's just full of uh, old crap which is so such a shame and uh <clears throat> yeah like it's i think it's just somehow leveling up everyone to the point i mean a lot of it is western culture like this is a whole thing in general like there's such a push for liberal and um inclusive ideas in the west because there's such a, an amount of um um the way in which people live the way in which people consume is like whenever you buy clothes online from anywhere it's coming from some exploited child and even the most like liberal people all the vegans like everyone it's like everyone's living a kind of a double life lie um and that's why i think they're trying to fill this vacuum subconsciously they're like they understand that their lifestyle is like i mean just because it in essence you're not fee, you're not paying your dues it kind of comes down to that like and that's a fundamental thing which you feel but a lot of people don't put two and two together they just feel so there's this emergent kind of need to police everyone in a moral way and then that's like to, to cover up or to fill this vacuum this 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 emergent vacuum of not having um like any not having like wiped your own ass basically and not being not providing for yourself because that's like an essential thing um just like giving birth is an essential thing or having a piss is, a, is an essential thing it's like it's like these things are like connected to our well-being and we have this kind of like complex mind chemistry to 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 know what it is because just like the bird um the, the birds wake up and they know they know how to fly or they learn how to fly or they know how to navigate right so we also have these complex sort of like um this complex system of reward in our mind for when we're living in accordance with our sort of natural state which is 
which is actually really complex and beautiful because we can like build these fucking beautiful it, it's not sim it's not doesn't have to it's like simplex it doesn't have to be like boring and all just toil in the fields it can be actually like super um like complex and, and elaborate and beautiful but it just has to be in balance it has to be like it has to be grounded in these like laws where you can um where nature is like where balance is honored you know i think that's the always the main word balance so yeah space space may be the final frontier but it's made in a hollywood basement <laughs> ciao for now